Hi, welcome to Volleyball 101. I want to knock out a quick video uh, going over um, some spiking technique uh, and uh, giving a direct example. Um, you know, there's some new stuff in terms of uh, really pushing players to change their whole spiking technique um, and do this low elbow drop in order to avoid, sh avoid shoulder problems. I think it's the wrong approach uh, from a number of different ways. I uh, shot a great video with uh, Ryan um, Kendrick uh, from Dynamic Tape, who's an expert uh, on muscular movement and injuries. Um, and instead of going to these absolute extremes, I think there's some simple things that you can do to correct this as a coach. So uh, what I want to do is look at uh, this video of someone who has corrected it in this weird way. And rather than going this weird, crazy correction and having to completely change the player's arm swing, doing some simple stuff that I think makes a lot more sense. Okay, uh, so let's go look at the video. We'll look at it full screen. Um, okay, and this is the video before and the after. Um, so the one on the left is the before, and this is when she was having shoulder problems. And the one on the right is the after, and she's now being corrected. And the big thing that I have a problem with is this complete change up in the arm swing, where instead of bringing it up high and relatively fast, they now want this very low arm swing um, coming down. And you know, the thoughts behind it is that you should run it kind of like tennis and baseball. And I go into extreme detail about why I think this is not appropriate for volleyball and why uh, you don't have to go to these extremes in some of the other videos I shot. Okay, but I think the bigger thing we should look at is, you know, what I think is causing the shoulder problems on this first place and what to do about it. You know, obviously, if the kid's got some inflammations in the shoulder, there's not much you can do immediately. So I would suggest using an ice pack. Um, we've got a great ice pack company we use uh, called Pro Series. Uh, you know, Koch recommends it as the number one uh, ice pack he's ever used. So let's start with some of that. Maybe also using something like the Bionic Dynamic Tape, uh, Bionic Tape by Dynamic Tape, to maybe help uh, support the shoulder a little bit. Once you do that, I would start getting into some corrective measures. Now, for me, when I look at this player, you know, it's pretty simple. The very first thing I notice is notice on these two videos the opening up of the hips in the two different places. So right away you know i think the most important thing you know for generating power and avoiding shoulder injury is number one how are you initially generating power the biggest part is during using your trunk and opening up with the hips the second thing that i notice immediately and let's 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 forward to just the video of her spiking okay so notice how little trunk opening she has so I want her opening up her hips. At this stage, you can notice her shoulders are relatively parallel to the net, and she doesn't have this hip back, kind of like a football thrower would throw a ball. So that would be the first thing that I would work on. How can we open up the hips? Okay. The next thing I'm real worried about is this cocking motion of hers. She never really gets her arm back and ready, plus she has a pretty large angle here, from here to here. That makes me real nervous. Uh, I like a 90 degree and get that arm back and ready to swing. You know, there's some uh, studies that have shown that if your arm is still moving back and isn't ready, you can actually cause a lot of pressure on the shoulder in this situation. So I think we should try and get her arm ready and back and ready to go as fast as possible. Uh, then the third portion, I see some real problems with the arm swing, is how she's bringing it down and decelerating the force going forward. And I think this is a major thing that isn't discussed in any of the videos with this girl. Now let's watch your arm. Now ideally you want that arm to stay straight so that the force is unloaded all the way through the arm. What you'll notice she does is she bends her arm, look at this, and creates an angle. Plus she's bringing it down by the side, thereby putting all the force on her shoulder here, which I think is really, really bad. Instead, she should actually just cock it straight to her leg or slightly across the body, um, which makes a lot more sense and I'll defuse some of this power. So what I want to do is show some examples of a great swing technique. And I think this is a good example. Now, this is Mike Deal. Mike Deal is one of the longest lasting pros in Europe. 
Um, you know, he played all the way till 38, I believe. And he was the three-time league MVP in Greece. MVP his, his last year at 38, hitting opposite and hitting all the balls. But I think the power is watch his arm swing and his trunk and hip opening. Now, watch how open he is to the ball. Boom. Look at that. Look how open he is. He's almost facing the center. Okay, I know he's going extreme angle, but still. And then notice how he pulls that elbow back and gets it ready. Okay. Boom. Thereby opening up the trunk and chest to allow for real, real power. Next, look how he dissipates that arm and that energy load, keeping the arm straight the entire movement. Boom. All the way through. Okay. I'll show another example. This is Japanese national team. Here's an indoor player. Boom. Okay, I don't like her arm pulling off, but notice how she opens up for generating the power. So it's a pretty tight set, so she's worried about hitting the net. So that's why she pulled her arm back when she's decelerating. But notice how she opens up. Boom. Way more open than our first example. Let's see another spike here, another attack. I think this is a better example. Notice how open she is. Boom. Notice how the arm comes all the way down. Okay. Let's see it. Boom. Notice how she opens. So those are some of the things saying, I think in this example that we used here earlier, if this player could, instead of doing this massive motion, just go in and start opening up her hips, okay, so that she's generating power through the trunk. We shot some great videos with this dynamic tape and using actually tape to uh, do this. So that's worth seeing too. Then getting her arm ready fast and in cock position, which can actually also stop some of the problems because there's a lot of problems from this late cocking and uh, this forward motion when the arm is still going back. And then finally, uh, the releasing of power as the arm's going forward. I think if you can get those three things sorted out, the player would be a lot better than having to go to this extreme and do this. Let's look at this on the right here. And this weird arm swing that is this weird, weird motion. And the real big reason I don't like it is, you know, this arm swing that they're trying to teach with this low elbow that's kind of like tennis and baseball, you know, it really eliminates a lot of the key things like what are my shots, how am I opening up to the ball, um, you know, the window, how am I hitting around the block, you know, a lot of problems that you can't necessarily have. Plus, also, if you're taking this arm swing onto the beach, you know, you have a lot of problems. I've sat in a lot of coaching sessions where, you know, the coach, the entire practice is just trying to fix this guy's arm swing because they're really struggling to make contact on the ball because of the wind moving the ball, plus having a nice shot to creating a nice angle uh, on contact because they've got this weird arm swing. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Um, yeah, uh, make sure you check out all the videos at volleyball101.com and we'll go from there.